Manhattan Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It's Halloween, and while we're putting on costumes here on Earth, two astronauts got dressed up for an important work function. Scott Kelly and Chell Lindgren suited up for their first ever spacewalk on October 28th. The pair worked outside the station for seven hours and 16 minutes and completed a grab bag of tasks including giving the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer a special insulating blanket, lubricating the station's main robotic arm, and routing cables for a future docking adapter. With this spacewalk in the books, all eyes are now on November 6th, when the pair will head outside again for more maintenance work. And when Scott Kelly isn't outside spacewalking, he's breaking space records. Back on October 16th, Kelly became the new American record holder for most time in space, breaking fellow NASA astronaut Mike Fink's mark of 382 days. And on October 29th, Kelly and his one-year crewmate Mikhail Kornienko broke the record for longest single flight aboard the ISS, 215 days, set by the Expedition 14 crew of Mike Lopez Alegria and Mikhail Turin. This week's question is from Caroline, who wants to know what preparations need to take place ahead of a spacewalk like this week's. Well, Caroline, it's a long list, but a few of the things are prep the airlock, resize the spacesuits, charge the batteries, clean the cooling loops, make sure the suits fit, prep the equipment lock, review procedures, virtual reality training, talk to spacewalk teams, gather tools, and pack their bags. Then they're all set to head out of the airlock for six to eight hours of walking with their hands. Keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week. Okay, can someone help me out of this? Guys? Guys? Come on. Ugh.